When I was just a wee little gaffer, no more than four or five years old, I asked my mum, I said, Mum, where do babies come from? And she said, Tucker, babies are nothing more than a binary operation between a mother and a father in which a baby comes out. And I'll show you in this highly graphic visual diagram. <clears throat> Welcome back to yet another episode of What the F*** is Tucker doing today? For which I still don't have an answer. Anyway, let's go talk about addition, which has absolutely nothing to do with whatever this intro was. Let's get tropical, baby. Addition, petition, ammunition, rotisserie chicken. That's what's going down today, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of associativity, a little bit of commutativity. That's gonna be it. We keep these nice, short, and sweet. Stay tuned for that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in today's episode, we're gonna be dealing a lot with binary operations. And I figured, why not go high tech, make some props, and really have some visuals to associate with the things that we're gonna be doing. This is gonna be trying to understand addition more fundamentally. I mean, it's not three blue, one brown, but pretty good. That is surprisingly a little bit more difficult than I initially would have thought. See, this box is uh, kind of flimsy. We're gonna go ahead and let that dry. Six and a half hours later. Now, I know this seems store-bought, but you'll be surprised to hear I actually built this myself. That's what I was doing on the bench over there. I was building this absolutely pinnacle of engineering. This is my binary operation machine. I built this because binary operations are everything. Binary operations are everything, trust me on this one. Binary operations are what we, the tool that we use to analyze addition, multiplication, division, subtraction, the mixing of paint, etc., etc. Binary operations are a fundamental abstraction that actually are a little bit late in the game that you learn in mathematics, but they kind of cover everything. Binary operations, all binary operations are, I've been over this in a few videos now, but you put in one thing, you put in another, out comes something else. That's a binary operation. So quite a simple structure, they get very hairy. And this is a tool we're gonna use to analyze addition today. This is a tool because remember, we're trying to get away from our intuitive ideas of addition and algebra and whatnot. We're trying to move away from that, become a, a more structured, write downable, what is addition? And to do that, we're looking at how addition behaves pattern-wise. Like if, if, we're, if we're viewing addition just as this, like a function, is there any kind of patterns we can recognize about how addition does its thing? I don't know, it's weird. When you first see it, it's weird. Like, I didn't know why we were doing this. I still don't like it that much. I just, it's it's something you kind of have to know to go through higher level math textbooks. So it, whatever. But I still think about like three rocks, four rocks, seven rocks. I'd never think about addition like this. It's just something you gotta do. It's set theoretic. It's annoying. We're gonna look at it today in the lab. My feet are getting cold. I'm standing on concrete. It is what it is. I don't know. Norm W, baby. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So we're abstracting algebra. We're starting with addition and we're treating addition as a binary operation. You fire stuff in, stuff comes out. And the stuff that we can fire in are numbers. We can fire in numbers. We're allowed to fire in numbers into our addition machine. And then something, a number comes out. And so in doing this again and again and again in history, we come up with some intuitive ideas of what's happening there. We're just gonna crystallize those now. This should be an idea that you're already kind of familiar with. It's called commutativity. And uh, we've been firing stuff into this addition machine for millennia. You know, the ancient Greeks firing stuff in, the ancient Egyptians firing stuff in, the Babylonians firing stuff into this machine. And it just took quite a bit of time to realize explicitly, intuitively, I mean, it was always the case, but explicitly what this pattern was. And this pattern is basically you know, is that. 5 plus 4 equals 9, 4 plus 5 equals 9, 5 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 5. Uh, and we can make that more general. Uh, 5 plus 4 equals 4 equals 9, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for any number, So for any numbers A and B in our numbers, the numbers that we like, we're not making those explicit yet, just the numbers we've used thus far in our lives, uh, A and B. 
A plus B equals B plus A. It's called commutativity. It's a property, it shows up all the time, highly useful. Now I'm just gonna make one more visual representation of that before we call it a day. So if, then, so in our addition machine, it looks like more multiplication. That's addition right there. This is our addition machine. I'm just, I just wrote that out because this thing's kind of a pain to work with. These are addition machines A, B, B, A. If we pop that into this sucker, what we get out is C both times. Even though we've changed the ordering, we get out C both times. And we just remember, we're trying to build up an intuition of the addition machine itself. How do we describe this machine addition without reference to intuitive ideas, but we're trying to make concrete steps to describe this addition machine. And so we've sussed out commutativity and there's many steps to go. Cool, it might be, get a little tough, little, little bumpy, but we should, you know, be set to pretty decently after we get through the little turbulent areas. Once the framework makes sense, this is a pretty good way of understanding algebra from a high level. So uh, just bunker down. We've got a few more of these to go and and uh, take it easy. I love you guys. Speed. And I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be in the next little while. I'm not sure. Definitely not tomorrow, though. I'm going to stop saying those. But definitely in a bit. You know, stay consistent. Yeah. So, uh, peace. And like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Baby back. Please. Dressed in black. Silver buttons all down her back. Hello. Tips and toe. She broke a needle and she can't sew. Walk in the dark Guess a walking bird dog Where'd my eraser go? Come on, baby How did I lose my eraser? That's crazy stuff